We've detected significant temporal activity in the Galorndon core system, circa the 23rd century. I'm going to investigate it, and I'd like you to join me. We believe the Nakul are involved, along with a planet killer, a doomsday machine. If so, we need to stop them at all costs. I'll provide your ship with holographic camouflage. It's best if the Romulans of that time don't see a vessel from the future. Thank you. I've also transmitted files that will establish your cover identity as Tall Shiar security operatives. You'll need to put this data into their local network before entering the research facility, however. There's a comms satellite nearby that you can use to accomplish this. Shiar vessel, cease all sensor scans of the device immediately. You do not have the proper clearance. IRW Moreri, this is Galorndon Station Command. Please transmit your security credentials. Data received, Moreri. Welcome to Galorndon Core. Sending you transporter coordinates now. I've taken the liberty of informing Commander Chulak. I'm sure the Director will want to greet you personally. Doomsday machines seek and destroy planetary bodies, consuming what remains as fuel. And yet, there's one in orbit just sitting there. Peacefully. It looks like reports of the Nakul gaining the ability to control the machines are accurate. We need to find out how, and fast. Your holographic disguises should conceal you while you search the facility. Good hunting. This area is restricted. You need to leave. Now. My orders are clear, Romulan. No one is to pass this point until the meeting is concluded. No one, not even Chulak himself. Subcommander, it is my duty to inform you that this area is restricted. Sir. Yes, Subcommander. At once. Forgive my rudeness. Access granted. Let me get the door for you. Subcommander, I've been instructed to grant you access to this facility. Of course, Subcommander. My family is a friend to the Tal Shar and loyal to the Empire. Access for you and your team is granted. The 
Senate has dispatched an agent from an alien race known as the Nakul. Repugnant creature. But she's of a keen mind and cunning I can appreciate as a Romulan officer. If only her visage wasn't so... hideous. She boasts she has a weapon that will turn the tide in favor of Romulus. An old song, to be sure, but she sings it sweetly. Krog's mysterious backer, the so-called Envoy, has made an impression in the right circles of power. We'll see if he can deliver, however. Data on his miracle weapon is due to arrive soon. Those scars, truly hideous. Krog is practically radiant in comparison. My researchers have analyzed the Nakul weapon data. It matches a report we have on an incident in Federation space involving a doomsday machine. If accurate, this weapon destroyed USS Constellation and nearly rid the cosmos of USS Enterprise. It seems Enterprise's thrice-damped captain exposed a vulnerability in the weapon. I shall have to address this with Krog upon her return. Krog arrives tomorrow along with a reportedly improved weapon. I believe the Envoy will be making an appearance as well. It seems it's the season for guests. If my agents are to be believed, we'll be getting a visit from the Tal Shiar very soon. I'm already suffering the witless bureaucrat from the Senate. To endure the serpents of the secret police is nearly too much to ask of a true Romulan. Subcommander, if this doomsday weapon lives up to the Nakul woman's boasts, it will ensure the Empire's dominance over the entire quadrant. The Federation and the Klingons will have no choice but to bend the knee to Romulus, or face annihilation. Of course, however, even a cornered beast knows when it has lost. Greetings, Subcommander. I knew it was only a matter of time before the fabled Tal Shiar came to call. The Nakul have brought a glorious weapon to your empire. You won't be disappointed. I can assure you. This one shall, Subcommander. Beyond measure. Your attention, please. Let's begin, shall we? We thank Specialist Krog of Nakul for joining us. We have concerns about the dangers involved with this weapon. You, you have, have nothing, nothing to, to fear, fear from, from the machine, machine my, my friend. friend. Would you be so confident if you were here, Envoy? Utterly, Utterly so, so, Commander. Soon, the Doomsday Machine will bring our foes to their knees. Bold words, Envoy. We shall see, won't we? It would seem a demonstration is in order. See to it, Krog. As you wish. Shall we, Commander? Very well. Show me what this beast of yours can do. It will be my pleasure. Enjoy the show, interloper. They are using holographic disguises. Guards, deal with them.
We're trying to get our computer to interface with that Nakul control console, but their tech is quite advanced. I need at least five minutes to integrate it. Your uninvited guests will make a fine target for the weapon, Chulak. The Doomsday Machine is about to open fire! Nice dodge. Keep it up. targeting us again. We need to move. That was close. Almost got this console working. to the Doomsday Machine, so we can transmit the control codes. Ship is under Activating shutdown protocol. Now. Something is wrong. It's not working. It's firing indiscriminately. Destroy the Doomsday Weapon and the cool ships! Now! The fabled Romulan Treasure at last. You'll regret this, Mr. Rock. Armed attack wing. Fire torpedoes to let things fall. All ships, protect the planet from that machine at all costs. Yes. Then a cool ship is about to be food for the beast. That should end it. Wait! What's happening? The machine. It's on a collision course. No! No!
while you still can. I won't ask twice. Then our cool ship must have detonated within the Doomsday Machine. Disrupted it somehow. This must feel like a Pyrrhic victory at best, too. <laughs> An uh, occupational hazard, I'm afraid. I'll be fine. What matters is that Chulak and his allies would have killed billions had their plan succeeded. Instead, his life is a cautionary tale, forever disgraced by his loss here today. We stopped them this time, at great cost. Clearly, the Nakul and their leader, this envoy, are willing to do anything to win this war, even commit genocide. It's unfortunate that Chulak didn't stand up to the Nakul sooner. It might have prevented this tragedy today. <laughs>